I haven't been able to do any woodwork this weekend. I'm still waiting for bandsaw blades. But I thought, there's no reason I can't try driving this car. Um, actually do the first drive in it. So I've been working on setting that up. Uh, I'd set up a temporary fuel system, which is just this metal can uh, with a hose going down into the carburetor float bowls. It's just kind of mounted over the top of the SUs. It's all wired in place so it can't fall off. I rigged up a, a little temporary control panel there. Um, it's just water temperature on the left. I don't imagine I'll be driving it long enough for that to be a worry. Uh, the kill switch in the middle for the ignition. Oil pressure on the right and a little RPM meter. And I basically just rigged up a temporary seat. Uh, it's just a piece of it's actually oak board jammed into the into the chassis rail uh, that is actually approximately where the back of the seat goes uh, so it kind of shows how much room there is in the car and there's a ratchet strap that's holding that in place effectively um, batteries there for starting it and really that should be it um, let's uh, Let's get it started up. Let's just check it's not not in gear. So we've got oil pressure. I'm not sure how best I can film this actually. Well, I just filmed the first drive of the car, or I just did the first drive of the car, and I thought I was filming it, but apparently not. Um, I did have another little action cam on, so hopefully there's something from that. Um, and also, uh, I think Charter came out and filmed me on her iPad. So hopefully we've got some footage from the outside, but I'm not sure if the footage from the inside actually worked uh, from when I was explaining things. But just in case that film didn't work, I basically set up the car so I could drive it. I uh, made a little fuel tank here. It's just a tin can, it's a pineapple tin, uh, wired in place, sitting on top of a wooden board that's just sitting on top of the SU carburetors. I rigged up a temporary seat, um, it's basically just jammed into the chassis rail and the ratchet strap just puts a bit of tension on it. Uh, I did find that started moving when I was doing the first drive because you can see the seating position is quite awkward. Uh, what else? Just had the battery there for starting it and it went really well. There was no problem whatsoever, it started fine. Um, getting into gear was no problem, the clutch just feels great, uh, gearbox feels great, the brakes worked, didn't actually check the handbrake but the foot brake definitely worked, um, it, it went really really well, uh, it'll be really annoying if I have missed that film, um, basically I had an angle from here of me driving it out, um, which I, can, I could recreate that, uh, we could do a historical recreation I guess. Um, I need to put a little bit more fuel in it, but yeah, that was really successful. I just went around the garden a few times. I managed to get up to third gear, but I wasn't really going fast enough, so it really bogged down in third. Change of gear was no problem. Um, I did blip the throttle, but like I say, I wasn't really going fast enough, but that was needed. Uh, everything got up to temperature nicely. It was doing 60 psi on the oil gauge the whole time, so... I think I can call that first drive a success.
So I'm not sure how much of that will have been caught, but uh, yeah, that actually works. It's so easy to drive. I'm really surprised. Um, I'm sure it'll be better once I can actually get it on a proper road, um, get a bit of speed in there. Um, I did find my seat is actually a little bit far back. I did have to sort of scooch forward a little bit just to be able to fully depress the, the clutch pedal. Um, obviously that's all adjustable on the car. But yeah, as I say, that worked really well. Um, nothing actually went wrong. The only thing that went wrong on the first test drive was the my wire holding the back of the exhaust pipe fell off. So I think we'll call that a success again. Um, I'll keep an eye on it now, just see if anything leaks. Um, these should be pretty hot, which is good. A little bit of dripping there. Uh, looks like some a little bit of oil's rattled out of the filler for the uh, the oil gauge. Um, that gear shifter is just amazing. It's so nice to use, and it just clicks into the gears so easily. Um, as I said, I wasn't going very fast, so it's not going to be very difficult, but uh, no, that worked really well. I think there's a small water drip there somewhere. Um, no massive oil leaks. That's pretty hot. Let's see if it actually registered on the gauge. Let's see. Okay. There we go. This guy's got some temperature. But yeah, I think that's good.